High quality sleep is the single most important aspect of your health. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you five evidence-based tips that you can start doing tonight in order to get you sleeping like a baby. If you implement these five things into your weekly routine, I guarantee you'll start improving the quality of your sleep. And if not, I'll give you a cookie. Just kidding, this is a YouTube video. I don't have cookies here, but if I could give you a cookie, you, you know I would. I'm also just gonna come out and say this right at the beginning of the video. Please stop taking melatonin to help you sleep at night. Just stop it. It's not good for you to take long-term. I know it's a hot commodity, but just, just, just put it down and, and try these five things first, please. Anyways, let's dive into tip number one. So the first and probably the single most important tip in order to get high quality sleep night after night is to try to go to bed and wake up within the same 30 minute window. That's right, I said go to bed and wake up within the same 30 minute time frame every single day. Our bodies love habits and patterns. And so the more often you can get to sleep and wake up within that same period of time, the better prepared your body will be to undergo and upregulate certain physiologic processes that will help you get the highest quality sleep possible. Also helps regulate something called the circadian rhythm, which is absolutely essential for high quality sleep. Moving on to tip number two, absolutely cut out all light and access to light within your room. You essentially have to make your room kind of like a bat cave. There have been studies out there that have shown that any light source, no matter where it is on your body, can actually disrupt sleep cycles. So pointing out one of those specific studies, they split a group of people up into people that slept in a dark room and then people that slept in a dark room but had fluorescent lighting shining on the back of their leg. Yes, I said the back of their leg, yet every other aspect of the room was dark. And they found at the end of the study that those individuals that had light even shining on the back of their leg had less and decreased sleep quality overall compared to the other group. So please invest in some blackout curtains today. Tip number three is to stop all caffeine or other stimulants at least eight hours before the time that you want to go to sleep. Caffeine has a half-life of about five to six hours. So if you're trying to get in bed by 10 p.m. every night, you really wanna have your last cup of coffee before 2 p.m. Also included in this category are any exercises or activities that will substantially raise your heart rate and increase levels of adrenaline. Try working out in the mornings instead of working out later at night before you wanna to go to bed. Tip number four is to use your bed for sleep and sex only. This is really important. You want to disassociate your brain from other activities within your bed besides these two things. By doing these two things consistently, you will allow the brain to associate the bed on a subconscious level with sleep and sex, and this will help upregulate that quality of sleep for you. The final tip and tip number five is to keep the temperature of your bedroom no higher than about 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. Again, this will optimize your body temperature and help upregulate the physiologic processes in order for you to get the highest quality sleep possible. You can help prepare your body and regulate your body temperature in preparation for sleep by taking a shower about 60 to 90 minutes before the time that you wanna to go to bed. Again, give these five tips a try and leave a comment down below if these things are really helping you improve your quality of sleep. 